Hi everyone. So today we are going to make an alcohol ink tumbler with saran wrap. I had made a bunch of these for my Parash Posse retreat. Um, this is my personal one. It has my name on it. I love my tumbler. It holds my sippy sippy. <laughs> so I get these cups from Michael's. I buy them in the pro section. Uh, you get a better deal on them. But all you have to do is, is remove the top. I think they have that sealed. Oh, there we go. These are a little different than the ones that I used. Mine had the clear. Keep this away from your work area because you don't want to get um, alcohol ink on it. So you have to remove the sticker from the bottom. Um, you can save that if you want. You don't really need it. Just, you know, can't put tumblers in a microwave or freezer. <laughs> this is new. Um, mine did not have this on there when I bought them. So this is different for me. There we go. Easy peasy. So there's your cup. There's no taping involved. We are just going to wipe this down with alcohol. It does have a very uh, close stainless steel edge, so we're fine for that. Um, resin will be cut from the top anyways. But I'm gonna take you step by step. This is gonna be a process over a few days. So my lighting may be different. My setup's gonna be different. But I want to show you how to do these. They're very simple, and they are so much fun to do. So, let's get this clean. I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol. I want to make sure I get anything off of there. And I am wearing gloves, so I'm not putting my hand oils on the cup. definitely want to get the residue off from that sticker but that's all there is to it just clean your cup and you're good to go now next step is easy picking out your colors I like to do four colors because it gives it more depth so we're going to be using the pinata rainforest green the marabou metallic green Oops. the marabou rainbow this is fun to play with and the marabou glitter blue green I do buy um, my inks on joggles I'll put that link below in the description she has a great selection of inks so now all we need is a piece of plastic wrap I'm going to cut a piece for myself. I have a huge box from when I was baking from home. So I might as well use it, right? Nothing wasted. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because it's the texture and the plastic that gives you the design on your cup. I'm gonna lift you just a smidge so you can watch what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna set my cup there and get ready to start putting color down. Now you can check to see where you need to go, but remember you wanna get your bottom. So I'll bring my ink here to here. I just kinda of make a mess. Now the color that you put down first is what's gonna be on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue, um, blue green first. Make sure you shake these well, they have a ball in them. And you're just gonna make a mess. Just stick it down. You can put a little. I wouldn't soak the plastic, but you want enough down that it shows up. All right, then let's go with the metallic green. Oh, 
Oops, this one's not open yet. I thought I used this one before. I was wrong. There we go. It's open now. Alright, so now I'm going to go with the rainbow. This is kind of a neat thing. You won't be able to see this until it's on your cup, but it's got blues and golds and pinks. It's really pretty. Okay, now our base color, which is going to be the rainforest. Just have fun. There's no wrong way I'm putting the ink down. Okay, that's it guys. Take your cup. Place it in the middle of your saran wrap and just bring your saran wrap over like that. Now, you definitely want to move it around a little bit because you want color everywhere. Unless you want white spots, that's fine too. I like the color to be almost all over the whole thing. And when you make these scrunchies in the cup, it leaves a really cool pattern. Don't worry if you get ink on the inside, alcohol will take it right out. But we're not gonna worry about that until we're done with resin. And we will be using the Stone Coat Art Coat on these. Cause we want that extra added UV protection. We'll also be using an archival uh, UV spray on this to seal the alcohol ink so it doesn't fade. Alright, so we're going to leave this cup alone. Make sure I got all my bottom and we're going to let it dry just like that. And I'll be back tomorrow to show you when we reveal the See you then. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. Let's go ahead and take our saran wrap off. Your bottom may still be a little damp, but you can dry that with uh, your hair dryer. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. So it is a little wet. I can dab that there just for a minute. Okay. That is gorgeous. So we even got the um, that blue green shimmer in there. Okay, so what do you do now, right? Well, throw that away. <laughs> I like to feel my cup and see if I have anything raised that I have to worry about, which I don't. And yes, it's still just a little bit tacky. So I can turn this over and dry it. But then I wanna put um, a couple of coats of clear mat um, to seal it because if I resin it right now this will bleed and it will give us um, a muddled look the pattern will still stay but not as it is right now so let me finish drying that and I'll give it a quick couple of coats of the spray and then we'll take it from there so I'll be right back
Okay, so I gave my cup two coats of Grumbacher Matte Archival um, Varnish. That will seal my alcohol inks in. Um, also, because it has the UV protection, um, hopefully my alcohol inks won't fade out. So I just mixed up some Stone Coat Art Coat Epoxy. So we'll be putting a coat on here. Um, I made a little bit extra because I have a vase to cover as well. So you don't need a lot. This is just going to be a thin coat to get it sealed because we'll be doing a finish coat on it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this on. Let's put a pad under there. I do have a tendency to drip. There we go. Make sure we're going good here. I have a noisy little tumbler turner. So I'm just getting it on first, but I'm trying not to like saturate it. You don't want to use too much. Usually about 30 mil um, for your first coat so that you get enough on. We'll be good. And I'm already coming around. So that's a good sign. All right, don't forget your bottom. So I like to dip my fingers in to do the bottom. start smoothing it out a little bit. Best way to do this is to push towards the top of your cup. That way you know that you're getting the rim. And if you have excess, take it off because you really don't want any excess on there. All we're doing is sealing that alcohol ink. This first coat is just a seal. And please, two coats, guys. <laughs> I know they look pretty good with one, but you really want that seal. All right, I am covered. Don't worry if you get um, a little bit of epoxy on the inside, because we're gonna be cleaning that all out. All right, that looks good. So what I wanna do now is just add a little bit of glitter, a tiny little bit, and I'm using um, polycolor turquoise. Just a tiny bit. Just in spots where I think it needs a little more shine. And if you get a gob and you don't like it, you can go ahead and rub that out again. I think it looks good. I'm going to leave it right there. Don't forget your bottom. <laughs> I just fling it at the bottom. So I don't think there's anything else I have to do to this as far as the resin part. I do want to give it a light torch. Do not hold your torch on it too long. You'll heat up the resin, which will thin it, and then you'll end up with drips. So it's just a quick pass to get the bubbles. pretty things in this cup. 
Now some of that glitter might move with your resin, and that's fine too. It's not a big deal. This coat does not have to be perfect. It just has to cover the whole tumbler. Because before we put the next coat on, we will be sanding it just a little bit. Okay, we look good. Now, if you don't like the glitter in spots like that, you can move it around with your glove. Like this. I'm just showing you as an example. I'm fine where, where it was, but just in case you get too much, you can pick it up and move it. But it does add a little interest to the cup. So it's not quite so plain. I did 24 of these for the retreat, so but they were mostly the same colors. So it was pretty easy. I had five going at one time. All right, final pass. And I will leave this overnight. And we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do a quick sand. We'll do our top edge and we'll put our final coat on. And we'll talk about what you could add. So I will see you back here tomorrow. Okay guys, our first coat is uh, not tacky anymore because I do want to sand this. So I let it run for the full 24 hours. And I'm gonna sand down anything that's high um, any little bumps or anything and we're going to put on a vinyl and then we're going to do the second coat of resin. I'll probably sign the bottom too. So let's take it off of there. I'm going to put a piece of parchment down so I can contain my sand. So, I mean, it looks okay for one coat, but it just looks better with two. So, we're going to go ahead and do two, but I'm also doing two because I'm putting a vital on it. You can put any water decal on here, water slides, temporary tattoos, any of that stuff. I'm just knocking the high stuff off. You may get some grit come up through your resin from the glitter. If you're doing more than one tumbler, wear a mask. Okay, so on my top, I want to go around that edge really well. I don't want to get down so far that I touch the alcohol ink though. be good. I don't see any resin, so I'm good there. And my bottom. Now when you do this bottom edge here, you want to be really careful. It's super light. Just enough to just give it some tooth. There shouldn't be anything there that you really have to sand off. Okay. I want to wipe that off with some alcohol. You can take this cup in and wash it by hand to prepare it for that last coat. And you may get some alcohol ink on your paper towel as well. 
Other than that, it looks pretty good. So let's get this out of the way. making this cup for Alan. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but it's for Father's Day. So, I already have this cut out on my Cricut. I just use my Cricut Joy, cute little machine. I'm gonna go ahead and add that on there. Hopefully I can do this with gloves on. resin and we'll be right back to do our second coat. Let me get it on here and we'll be ready to go. Be right back. Okay, so I'm mixing up some stone coat art coat. This is food safe resin. So I'm more trusting of this brand and I've been with them since 2019, 18, 19. <laughs> it's been a long time but I've always used it. I love it. I've tried others that I didn't really care for but um, I've always come back to the Keystone Coat and use that regularly. I like the thickness. You can really feel where it's going. All right, so I stirred this a little bit before I brought you back. So we went and spent all our time stirring. But I do have a lot of bubbles. One quick one here, and then we're ready to go. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna make sure that my hands are clean. Same as we did last time, except this one, we don't have to like spread it so thin because we want that good coverage, especially with the vinyl on there. So I had to share my purple ones with him. <laughs> All right. I feel my lip is completely covered. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do my thinning. Just lightly pushing that rather than to the top. And if I feel like I have a bunch on my glove, I'll wipe off. But I'm not pushing down like I did on the first coat. You want to make sure your cup is really level this way. Uh, so you don't get like a bubble rim. On my first ones, I had some that I got that, but they were still pretty. when you're learning something for the first time, you learn from your mistakes. So when you do it again, you know, don't be upset if your first one's a fail. Because there's always, you can always sand it down and do it again. I think that's good. Let me 
give that a torch. And I know I'm going to have a lot of bubbles around that vinyl. And I'm not signing his cup, but if I was going to sign it, I would do it between these coats. Don't want to do it before the first coat though, because it will um, disappear with the uh, ink. For a little bit. Make sure all my bubbles are gone. There's the squeaky tumbler. I'm not seeing anything else. I'm looking sideways. <laughs> I'll see you guys back here in 24 hours and we'll clean it and finish up. Stay tuned. Okay, my tumbler is finished. I'm going to remove my foam that goes on there. Look at that shine. great design just with saran wrap and alcohol ink all right so now that it's done we're gonna clean our edge I don't feel any resin at all but just to be on the safe side I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off just taking my knife at that very top we get a few little pieces of resin nothing thick and built up. So once you get the top off, don't feel anything there, just do a quick little run on the inside. And if you get a big bunch of resin in there, if you hit it just right with your fingernail, it'll come off. Alright, now to remove the alcohol ink. Just take a paper towel. I've got two here. I'm gonna actually separate them. Give it a good dose because you want to make sure you can get all the ink out. I'm just gonna clean that edge. And that, will, you, that way you'll be able to see if you have more um, resin that needs to be removed. And you usually do. And I've got the rough edge off on the first pass. You don't want to really sand this if you don't have to. Because all this should clean right off. And the alcohol does help loosen it just a little bit. clean edge. Make sure it's all cleaned out. We're going to do one more time. Get that little residual that might be behind. That's it guys. Easy peasy. It's a simple little tumbler to do, um, especially if you're just starting out doing them. Got a nice silver top, no rough edges. Um, take it in your house and give it, well, in my, in my case, take it in the house. Um, give it a hand wash with Dawn dish soap. And uh, do not put it in the dishwasher. Don't soak it. Just give it a 
hand, these have to be hand washed. But I think Alan will like it. So that'll be his gift for Father's Day. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or reach out to me at Christina Welch Art at yahoo.com. Check my Facebook art page out, Christina Welch Art. Give me a follow there. Um, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, I have a group on Facebook, uh, The Parage Posse with Christina Welch. And also, if you're interested in getting my paints, they're available in my Etsy shop. I also have some artwork in there, too. So check that out. All the links are below in the description. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.